In 2019 in South Korea, there was a math problem put onto the practice college entrance exam that was so absurdly difficult that pretty much every single student who took that practice test got it wrong. Now, the reason the problem was so absurdly difficult is that apparently the person who came up with the problem when they were solving it themselves made a mistake. And that mistake made the problem seem way easier to solve than it really was. Now, the problem revolves around the following equation. A to the power of 1 divided by B times C to the power of 1 divided by D is equal to 24 to the power of 1 over 5. And we need to find integer whole values of A, B, C, and D that are bigger than or equal to 2 that satisfy this equation. Now, it turns out that there are a lot of solutions to this equation. For example, if you have A is equal to 24, C is equal to 24, and both B and D equal to 10, you have 24 to the 1 over 10 times 24 to the 1 over 10 is equal to 24 to the 1 over 5, which is true. But you could also have the solution A is 8, B is 5, C is 3, and D is 5, and that would also work. And in fact, there are infinite solutions to this equation. So if we want to do anything meaningful, we're going to have to restrict our values of A, B, C, and D. And what we are going to do is we are going to pick some number K, and we're going to say that all of our numbers have to be less than this value of K. From here, what we are going to do is once we have chosen our value of K, we are going to count the number of valid solutions where A, B, C, and D are between 2 and K. So for example, if I was to say that K is equal to 30, maybe there are 10 valid solutions. The actual question of the problem is to find all possible values of k that have exactly 59 solutions that satisfy this equation, take the biggest one and call that capital M, take the smallest value of k that satisfies this, call that lowercase m, and then the answer to the question will be the sum of m plus m. Hopefully you can see that this is a very hard problem.